right, it's early morning. Uh, you can see my hair is everywhere. We just woke out of bed. It's been raining. Mommy's over there. <laughs> uh, this morning went a whole lot better with Allie. Um, things we learned from yesterday was, uh, you know, with, with Elsa, we never really locked her fully in. With Allie, she struggled trying to get into the stanchion because she knew, uh, I think she's tender. I, mean, I really think that's what it was. But she didn't want to go all the way in, so we forced her to kind of get her in and locked her down and put the V on her. Uh, and once we put the V on her, kept the baby, we kept the baby laying beside her. But this time, Misty said, let's just put the baby on her. So literally, the baby was literally rubbed on her leg pretty much the whole time. What do you say? I held the baby. Yeah, I mean, the baby was pretty much on, filling mama. That gave her mama. comfort, though, and she didn't move. Didn't move. She's not a kicking cow. Uh, like I said, the last two days, she has not kicked because of our training. But our problem was she just was not used to, well, we thought the calf, the calf kind of made it a little bit more difficult. So very pleased with it this morning. Um, a lot better. And I, I was milked her out. She probably milked out a good gallon, gallon and a half. We're going to check it when we get inside. We'll pour it up and show you an update there. But uh, a lot better morning um, compared to even Elsa's first few mornings and also uh, yesterday morning with Allie. So real pleased with that. And uh, like I said, the baby's trying to eat. The only thing we're still struggling with the baby, I'm trying to kick him off a little bit, kick her off a little bit. She, she wants to nurse on one quarter and it's making Allie lopsided. So I'm trying to get her used Which to another quarter. Pumping's gonna help. Yeah, pumping's gonna help because that way, hopefully, she'll be able to get some of the sweat. She has two, two. Um, her front quarters are full, because the baby's not nursing. But then they're swelling, and I think the baby doesn't like um, her udder trying to do that. Josie. So her teeth. So or Josie. Yeah, I, I need to call her by her name. Um, but other than that, I think all in all, it was a lot better morning. Uh, Allie needs to eat. You can tell she's she's been a little nervous with the baby. She really hasn't eight she hadn't left the baby so where the baby goes the baby goes and pretty much even though there's there's feed and grass everywhere she hadn't just um she had just ate so i'm gonna let her just keep on eating i got her a pile of dairy feed and alfalfa and some sweet feed and hopefully that'll get her some some fat and uh, some good quality feed today so it's like liquid butter So basically, this is a two and a half, uh, no, three and a half gallon, no, two and a half gallon. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. So, what is this? It's three. Three. Okay. So, basically, that one line, a little bit above this line, is a gallon. So she probably gave us a gallon point one, gallon point two. I mean, really, that's what we were getting with Elsa at the very end of her um, time before we started drying her up. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. What about you? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, and plus we're, the calf is eating, so that's So this that's is good. day two. Day two. Day two. We use the pump today. Use the pump today. Got you know we got the other ones put up already. We'll just take the meat birds and put them in there. They're uh, lasting home for the next three to four weeks. And uh, so let's let's go and do that. It's it's chill outside, but the rain has stopped. So I hope they'll be okay out there.
last one is 25. So we got 25 going in here. We did put a heat lamp in here because it's supposed to get cold tonight. Uh, their feeds are in here. They're in the shock or not. So success. All right. We got all the wet stuff and uh, came out here after it got a little bit uh, lighter because we were that was this morning about 6:30 when we actually moved the chicks. But look at them. Look how good they're doing. They're out and about getting water feed. So they're doing really good. Again, I can't say enough about the shocker knot. Great fence. Uh, the charger, we're not putting on it yet until this evening because we're letting the sun hit it. Make sure it's getting enough brightness to actually light it up. And actually, I'm gonna probably lock them into their little coop tonight. Just, again, because they're not used to it. I did, I have a heat lamp in the little coop just because they're still kind of young. And then also, um, you know, just to get them used to this cool weather and also being inside somewhere different. So, uh, use it there in a controlled environment always. But uh, just want to give you an update there. We're end of the day. Thank you so much for watching the Max, and God bless. Happy homesteading, y'all.